Hello, Mad Puppet here. Just wanted to give you a quick preview of some new visual scripting that's coming to Build Build. Here I've created a simple script that just creates a bridge and six seconds later destroys the bridge. Whenever I step on this particular tile, the bridge goes out as far as it can until it hits a docking tile. So let's have a quick look. So now with the properties of a tile, you get this little scripting icon and if you have ever used a thing called Scratch made by MIT, you will recognize I've made modeled the scripting language like Scratch, so anybody who knows Scratch should be able to get into it fairly quickly. There are a few differences. If you don't know programming at all, this is probably completely jargon to you, but I'll go through it anyway. If you, even if you know a bit of basic, you might be able to pick this up pretty quickly. It's all color coded. On this side, we have all the commands that we can drag onto our script, and on this side is the actual scripts that we will create. Now, these little brown things are called events, and there will be a few of them to choose from at the moment. There's just on stepped on, which means a player has stepped on your tile. Uh, there will be later, there will be other ones like uh, every second you can make a script go off every second, you could make a script go off when a projectile hits it, or if a player uses an item on the tile, like if you wanted to use a key to open a door. But for now, there's just the on stepped on. So we'll rip this apart and tell you how it's all working. So what happens is when someone steps on it, I set a variable. So these grey blocks are variables. When you click on it, you just give it any name you want. So I'm going to give this variable the name tile. And these green areas are positions in space, or what we call vectors there, like an x, y, and z. So this tile is going to have hold the value of where you stepped on the tile plus one tile forward in space. That's, this tile is now looking at, this variable is now holds the position of the tile in front of you. Then we run an if statement. We say if you know, we're going to get the tile in front of you. So now brown means I'm now holding, I'm now talking about an actual tile. And we're going to say if the tile in front of you is air, so that grey means the result of saying if the tile in front of you is air is going to be true or false. See? If statements, oops, let's go over the outside. If statements just take a true or false. True or false. But now we have a little command in here that evaluates the true or false. So if the tile, one tile in front of you is air, then we're going to run our script because we're going to say, okay, our bridge is not blocked. So what it does is it runs a create script. That's just a name script. You can name, just like variables, you can name scripts anything you want. So we're going to run the create script. We're going to wait six seconds and then we're going to run the destroy script. So here's our create script. So unlike the on stepped on, this script will only run if you call it with a run script. It doesn't have a, it's not an event. Now all the script does is it says while it's going to loop. Pink is this. This little bracket here means all these grey commands inside here are going to run over and over again until this condition is true, uh, until this condition is no longer true. So it's saying while the tile that we're looking at, that variable, while the tile of that variable position is air, then we're going to build a bridge. So at that position, which is starts off here, we've created this variable here, so when you run the script you get you get to inherit all the variables that you've created and whatever values they have. So both this create and destroy script will have that tile one step forward. So it comes in here and says, well the tile in front of where you landed is air, set it to my little bridge object. You can set it to any tile you want, I've just set it to the tarmac. Well it's not really tarmac anymore, I've just painted over it. Then I'm going to move my tile variable to point to itself 
plus one step forward. Then I'm yield. What all the yield does is say that let the game run one of its frames before you run it again. So that makes it do it. If I get rid of the yield, it'll actually do the entire bridge instantly. If I run back now, you just get build it. It's not completely instantly because the build fill has to actually build them block by block. But it's it's as fast as build fill can do it. I think right there is. Instead of instantly, I could um, put a weight there. And I can go one tenth of a second. Now I step on it, move slowly forward. Now, a lot of this is still pretty early, so that's why I have to keep finding my script every time I open this window again and, and it also takes a few clicks to get back and forth. I'm going to streamline this interface so that from the from here you'll be able to hit one button and jump straight to the script. Instead of having to go there and there and there and then center it on it. So all that tile does is it says look, I'm basically looking at looking at a space if it's empty I'm gonna Put a block there, and then I'm going to look at a different space. I'm going to wait a tenth of a second and repeat the process over and over again until I find a block that isn't here. And the, the destroy script is actually identical. So all I did to create the destroy script was clone that, so I can hold the shift key down and drag and make copies. It's a really fast way of editing your script. You can grab any, any line you want, just clone it. Dead. So, instead of all the destroy ship does is instead of looking for air, it looks for the tarmac and it says, well, the tile that I'm looking at is tarmac, turn it back to air. And here, instead of, um, instead of waiting 10 seconds, Uh, we'll wait a little bit. Wait. No point. We'll wait one second. And then start destroying it. Maybe might wait two seconds. Give you a chance to get on the tile. But now the tile is quite slow. Say seven tenths of a second. So you can see if that change. Which still comes on fast. But it just slowly chases you now. So if I run over here. Go, oh god, bridge is closing. Run, 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 run. And another thing you could change is if you wanted a really wide bridge, for instance, what I would do is set the tile to the left and right using this one square to the Right, and clean that, and you see one square to the left. And we'll attach that again. And then we need to do the same to the destroy, which I think the quickest way is still going to be clean the interior, just change it to air. Because the destroy is always a copy of the crate, just changing backwards. So now I can run that and I get a big bridge. B. Boom. You can also see that it's directional. Because I've used that. Because um, I've used tile forward, tile right, tile left, tile forward. It's relative to the tile direction, the direction of the tile that you stepped on. Instead of absolute directions like north, south, east, west, you can also make stuff relative to the player's direction and the initial player's direction. And that may change. I may even get, add more stuff later. I think of it. Okay, and that's about all I've got to show off for now. Until next time, Mad Puppet signing out.